In the past uh, two years or so, we've built a new platform. I work on a team, that's the developers relations team, that's responsible for making sure that we have applications and on the platform and that developers are committed to the platform. So before I talk about deployment uh, in the second session, I thought it's really good to overview what the platform offers and what we've got. So I'm going to talk a little bit about publishing content because it's not just about applications. Uh, we also have different options of getting uh, into the application ecosystem. I'm going to overview the developer options, point you to some developer resources, and just you know talk about how to get started with the platform. And then I'm going to lead into the uh, marketing and deployment uh, pieces and then continue on with a second session. So before we talk about application development, we need to understand the ecosystem. And so BlackBerry AppWorld is our application storefront. And you know, when you look at the reach, we've got over 80 million subscribers at this point in time, and we're in 170 uh, markets. So as we're talking about deployment, development, we need to understand uh, the scope. At this point, uh, for first generation platform, we've got about 100,000 apps. So my team has done a very good job convincing new developers to come to the platform. But we, we obviously got a lot more ahead of us. So before we talk about apps, I want to talk about content. Because if you're a content producer, you don't necessarily have to write an app to get your content onto our platform. So obviously we partnered with Ravi and Seven Digital for movies and music, but as you can see, we're partnering with other content providers such as uh, Kobo, Copia, Amazon Kindle, and Pixel Mags, for example, for magazines. So if you have a magazine out there that you want to publish on our storefront, uh, you can reach out to BlackBerry and get that magazine uh, published within our newsstand uh, offering. Now, if you're a blogger, you know, before we start delving into the uh, nitty gritty and the details of what the platform offers. If you're a blogger, you really know very little about application development. And we've created this app generator um, uh, platform where you can basically get an app in 15 minutes. It's a very rudimentary cookie cutter app, but if you've got a blog, this wizard will guide you through the process of creating an app and in a few short minutes you can get an app that will be published in the app world and uh, you know the obviously the conditions for this are that you know this content is going to be your own but it's certainly a way of getting out there and just kind of exploring uh, uh, the, the ecosystem and, uh, and really seeing how uh, users react maybe to your content and, and then taking it uh, beyond that. So let's look at roads to BlackBerry applications. I'm going to focus here on primarily two technologies uh, which many people think are uh, you know competing with one another. Uh, I, I want to talk about why they're not but uh, our philosophy is to really provide content developers with the platform uh, uh, that they're familiar with. So we want to meet developers on their own turf. And uh, I think that's really important because uh, and rather than forcing a developer down a certain path, you know, and, and kind of forcing them to our native platform, we want to make sure that if they're a web developer and they're familiar with HTML5 technology, that they have a way of getting onto the platform. And obviously, you know, for gamers and game developers, we want to provide the necessary frameworks and uh, the necessary libraries that are needed to get the games out there. So we have some alternative runtimes. So just in light of what I talked about, if you want to get onto the platform and you want to uh, publish an application on, on our app world, uh, you could also use Adobe Air platform. Certainly, uh, it's not as popular as it once was, but there's a huge following and a lot of uh, you know, Air developers out there, a lot of Flash developers. So there's a way for, 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 for you, for, for those developers to get onto the platform 
platform. So we have an air runtime and, and uh, you can certainly leverage that to get to our platform. Um, another way of getting onto our platform is the Android runtime uh, that we, we provide. So the BlackBerry uh, uh, 10 devices have an Android runtime and um, Certainly, you can take an Android application, an a Android APK file, and just repackage it and have it run on the BlackBerry 10 device. Now, there are certain implications uh, of that. Uh, one is, you know, it doesn't offer full functionality, uh, um, of, uh, um, doesn't expose all the features of the platform, and uh, and certainly in the enterprise space, uh, it, it is actually not possible to, uh, uh, to do that. So this is mostly a consumer offering. When we're talking about um, working with developers, uh, one of the things that uh, we need to keep in mind uh, is that you know, there's always a, a, an ecosystem out there where the developers are. And uh, for example, uh, web developers would probably be very familiar with jQuery and PhoneGap or the Cordova, uh, PhoneGap and Cordova platforms. Uh, games developers would certainly want, some of them want to use Unity uh, or Marmalade uh, or Shiva 3D. So we partnered with, uh, with, with vendors. We also have a very vibrant open source community where we're constantly uh, contributing uh, these libraries um, onto our open source uh, community. And uh, I think that's very important because um, a lot of work for uh, what you're already doing has been done. And, and we certainly want to be as open as we can be and, uh, and we want to have all the libraries where developers are. So let's look at the building blocks, you know, going uh, you know, with the two frameworks that, that, that we really think are, are uh, the frameworks that developers would choose for the best experience on our platform. Uh, let's, let's explore the two frameworks. One of the frameworks is HTML5 and that's offered on our platform through a framework called Webworks, which is simply a wrapper layer for HTML5 so that you can actually create a native application. And I'll discuss that in further detail. And we have our uh, native framework and uh, our Cascades UI framework, uh, which uh, uh, has uh, come to BlackBerry through an acquisition of the Astonishing Tribe, which is a user interface and UI company out, out of Sweden. And those two frameworks uh, sit on top of the BlackBerry services. So both of those frameworks have access to what the services offer, uh, what BlackBerry services offer. So you can use push, maps, payments, BlackBerry Messenger, our gamification uh, uh, framework, score loop, uh, where you can share different, uh, um, different scores for games, uh, uh, and, and many other frameworks as well. I'll discuss those, uh, those platform services in further detail when it comes to deployment and, and why they matter um, because you know, they're really the platform differentiators so it's really important to leverage them. And all of that sits on top of our BlackBerry 10 operating system which came to us through an acquisition of the Cunix operating system, uh, which was funded uh, sometime in the 80s uh, in Ottawa. It was a real-time embedded operating system, and uh, it, you know it runs uh, nuclear reactors and uh, you know space shuttles. And, and then a few years back, we, we bought the company, and we've been working with Cunix, and we created the BlackBerry uh, 10 operating system to leverage uh, you know, the power and the capability, the security of, of that operating system.